Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Muhi Khwaja with American Muslim Community Foundation and today on the 5 Fast Minutes Muslim Philanthropy Podcast we are so excited to have on Irfan Shamiri, the co-founder and CEO of Jinnar International. Welcome to the show Irfan. Thank you so much Muhi and uh, Assalamu alaikum everybody and Ramadan Mubarak. Wa alaikum assalam, Ramadan Kareem. Uh, so we're so excited to learn more about Jinnar International. If you had two minutes or less to share with people, what would you like to say? Uh, about Chinar International, um, it's a grassroots uh, organization which was launched in 2003 to work for orphans and vulnerable children in Kashmir. In 2011, we expanded our scale to help vulnerable children, youth, and communities. Uh, our solution for children is to get them uh, to quality education. For youth, it's uh, the path towards self-reliance. And for communities, is to strengthen their institutions so that they're set up for success. Uh, so our models are holistic in nature and are the complete end-to-end -end solution for children and youth. Uh, we also have a very strong crisis relief framework, which unfortunately has been tested quite often in Kashmir. And over the years, we have helped thousands of children and youth and crisis victims. Uh, we work with public school systems and communities to ensure quality education, and more importantly, continuity of the quality education in terms of protracted downtimes. You know, that's very important. For, uh, for youth, we have, um, uh, vocational training, skill training, uh, livelihood support, entrepreneurship, counseling, self-help groups. Uh, we have worked with remote areas where nobody has reached before. Uh, we work in the valley of Farwan, which is about 10,000 people, which sometimes remains disconnected from the world for up to five months because of impassable roads and because of snow. Wow. It has no electricity, no communications, very poor infrastructure. We've been working there since 2016, and we are well on our way to transform that valley. Inshallah, Rahman. Uh, we have helped about 90,000 people during the massive floods of 2014, which was a big number for us at the time because it was the first time we were doing something of this scale. Uh, we helped in rescue, relief, and rehabilitation. Uh, a few things about Chinar that I want to point out here is that we are focused on child-friendly and youth-friendly spaces because we believe that such spaces give youth and children the best chance to blossom and for success. The second thing I'll talk about is sustainable development, which is the buzzword these days, right? We develop deep relationships with communities, understand their pain points, challenges, and work with them to develop holistic community transformation solutions, okay? And in that process, we keep our focus on children and youth, but we help them to develop their whole communities. You know, that is our way of sustainable development. The third thing is that we are focused on driving large-scale social change and create young leaders. And finally, a firm believer in collaboration and working with, with both public and private stakeholders and also individuals. And of course, not compromising on our principles no matter what. Thank you. Yeah. Of course. No, that's great uh, to hear all the fantastic work that Chinar International is doing. Um, and I'm sure the people in that valley are very grateful that you're able to build their infrastructure and provide more resources for education and uplifting the community there. Um, so I would imagine that working in Kashmir itself has its challenges, um, but with the support of your team, your donors, the staff, the volunteers, um, if you had a minute to thank them, what would you like to say? Oh, my God. Yes, of course. A big thank you. Uh, we would not have been here without them. Absolutely not. And over the last several years, we have developed a solid foundation, you know, and especially, as you said, in a very uh, uncertain, conflicted area. And we have built the foundation brick by brick. We have designed, we have tried, we have tested, we executed these robust, impactful, cost-effective and scalable programs, um, and all because of their support. And now it's time for us to scale up. We need your support even more now. To uh, this is my message to, to the donors. Be our ambassadors, provide guidance, connect us, carve a role for yourself. Um, uh, depending on your expertise and strengths, right? And more importantly, you know, help raise funds for us so that we can move closer to our vision of peace, progress, and prosperity of uh, in conflict areas of the world. And that, my dear brother, is a beautiful vision. So, and it's a vision for everybody, I know. It gives me goosebumps every time I say that vision. So a big thank you, of course, to the donors and supporters. Yeah, I'm feeling those goosebumps as well. Um, and I'm really grateful to Dr. Mansoor Ahmed from Cleveland who introduced 
American Muslim Community Foundation to Jannar International. Um, and honestly, that's the best part of this job is being able to work with the families to help them with their philanthropic goals um, and to make sure that they feel that AMCF is connecting to the nonprofits that they support as well to provide additional resources. Um, so in a sentence, can you share more on what the partnership with AMCF has meant to Chinar International? Uh, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, I heard from you and uh, the one word that comes to my mind right away is innovative. Fantastic um, initiative, this one, and uh, reaching out to organizations at different levels and, and, and identifying your partners. Uh, it's just fantastic. I'm really looking forward to building on this relationship. Definitely, likewise. Um, so we are past five minutes. So just really quickly, what are your three favorite nonprofit organizations that you and your family personally give your sadaqa and zakat to? And we'll assume that Jinnah International is at the top. So if you can provide three other maybe partner organizations or ones locally that you really love. Uh, of course, Jinnah International, but uh, I want to add Adam Center, a fantastic grassroots level organization in Northern Virginia, helping um, not only the Muslim communities, but outside the community as well, really connecting with, uh, with the community. Uh, I do not give to teach for all, but I like that concept tremendously. And, uh, you know, Teach for All is followed by Teach for America and other Teach for Countries. And the uh, concept of two-part theory of change is what we are using. And there are multiple other humanitarian organizations which have been doing fantastic work, Islamically being one of them. Uh, so anybody that's working in this space, I am supporting them. And we are supporting them, yes. That's wonderful to hear. Um, you know, you can find out more about those organizations in AMCF's nonprofit directory. Um, and you can learn more about Chinar International at chinarinternational.org and on social media at Chinar International. That's C-H-I-N-A-R International. Um, Irfan, thank you so much for being on the show and looking forward to continuing the conversation and future discussions. Likewise, uh, and happy Ramadan. Happy Ramadan to you as well. Take care. Take care.